All right, figured I'd give you guys a uh, toolbox tour of my new Epic 84 since the work center just came in. Well, a few weeks ago, but it's all kind of set up now, so. It was a long wait, I'd say, but the box came within maybe four months, around Christmas, then in January I got the locker and the work center just showed up, well, I don't know, maybe a month ago, so quite a while. Uh, I guess we'll start on the top here. <coughs> I got a 32 inch monitor here. It's mounted with the uh, snap-on uh, mount. It's pretty, it's, it's expensive, but it's a really nice piece. Uh, I definitely recommend it. It's mounted like so solid. Uh, I got my mini box here. I'm gonna get that painted uh, the same color as the box. Uh, if you're into mechanical keyboards, this is a Keychron, what is it, a Q3 Pro? Q, Q1 Pro, yeah. Uh, it's been pretty good. It's my first week using it, it's actually 60% still, it's pretty good. My Zeus lives up here, Zeus Plus. Uh, I've got some quick grab screwdrivers here, like a Phillips, the little pry tool here, six mil nut driver. Work mainly on BMW, so that's things pretty handy. Uh, my lamp, got my little fan up here. Thing comes quite handy. Glove holder, speakers. There is a subwoofer up on top of the locker. I have all the wiring routed through uh, the holes here, pretty neatly. I have the uh, snap-on lighting, the little magnetic sensor up there. I also think that was worth the money. Uh, more lights here. These are like the wireless charging ones. I love these because you just grab them. You don't have to worry about, you know, messing around with wires. Pretty big deal. Um, ratchet drawer. I don't have a ton. But, uh, I don't know, if you're going to grab one, I'd say this is the one I use the most. That's what a FL, FHL, FADA. Got the digital torque wrenches, all three. In the quarter drive yeah pretty standard issue ratchet wise i like this thing that's a bit holder that comes in really handy on well, german cars <clears throat> this drawer is not really complete i'm just keeping some of my extra power tools in here it's pretty empty uh, that's why i bought this box i'm coming from a classic 78 uh, both the three eighths electric ratchets. This is not the brushless one yet. I would argue if you're gonna look at one of these, just get the long neck. I I, I just I barely touch this guy. I just grab this. Fits everywhere. That's why I bought the uh, quarter drive and long neck. Uh, I got the right angle and straight die grinders. These things come in handy. Right angle right yeah. <laughs> right angle drill. Rarely use it, but when you do need it, it's pretty massive. Cordless saw gets the job done. Next is the power drawer. Um, see, a lot of guys they have, they'll pack all their extra tools down there. I do not want to deal with rummaging around in here looking for tools. I had them tucked under here, and it's just no, can't can't do it. <laughs> uh, a couple more lights here. A couple chargers. This is a bit screwdriver. This actually, this is pretty cool. Especially for work on BMWs. This is the flip socket. So it's an eight mil here and you can flip it around and it's a 10. So when you're dealing with the uh, under panels, you only need one tool because there's like 30 screws. Uh, this is just a little drill, good enough. Quarter drive, three eighths drive with the uh, magnet mount there. I think like, it's starting to wear out. It didn't used to come off like that. Uh, these smaller 3 8 two half drives. I bought this one first. This is the, what, the 9080? And then I got this guy after the 9050. If you're looking at one of those, just get the 9050, honestly. I keep my air hammer in here. Thing is awesome. Next down. Some Diag stuff. I got the thermal imager, battery tester, test leads from the Zeus Plus. 
amp clamp, my scope module. Uh, this is a BMW ICOM. Factory tool. Down here, my test lung bore scope. If you're looking for a bore scope, highly recommend this thing. Uh, what is it? The NTS 500. It's, I would say, has better image, image quality than anything Snap on makes. It's about $300 instead of $3,000. And that thing's been great. Multimeter. Got this little set here of uh, really stubby bits. Again, German cars. It's kind of a big deal. Some map gas. I rarely use a torch. But uh, if I need it, map usually gets the job done. These are the stud removal tool. More leads there. Mastercraft, the worst drill bits in the world. That's why it comes with like 60 of each size. They're terrible. Uh, that's the re-thread crit kit. And this is a really old tap and die set. So that's that drawer. Socket drawer. Uh, just about all snap on. I just got the half drives recently. I don't have a rack for them yet. Uh, snap on, half drive impacts. Uh, what do we got? Deep, mid, and shallow, 3 8 This rack I've got 6 and 12 point here in shallow. Uh, quarter drives here. Got the low profile ratchet and uh, sockets there. This is kind of cool. Uh, if you work on BMWs, this is actually a tool they make to remove. On most of the newer cars, the uh, coolant reservoir cap, one out of a hundred is just stuck. And this this uh, this will save you. Universal sockets, extensions, what do we got in here? Spark plug sockets. This is a knuckle spreader tool for removing struts on most German cars. Uh, use this guy for high pressure fuel lines. Anytime you're doing valve covers or whatnot. Bit holder, nothing else exciting there. Torx, more universals and quarter, some oil filter sockets, extended Torx, stubby hex. Love these for uh, really hard to get to drain plugs. These are the locking extensions in quarter. Uh, anytime you're dealing with like vent hoses and whatnot on German cars, these are awesome. Snap-on doesn't make them, but they sell them. You put it on. I wish I had an example, but you put it on, turn it, and you just pull it off instead of using those terrible clips. Uh, extended 10 mil, just you need on some uh, BMW valve covers. These are extended wobble torques. Those are sweet. Tap sockets. These are some random sockets, so oil filter. Random stuff. O2 sensor wrenches. That's what's in there. Wrenches. These I didn't know I needed until I got them. I literally used them the day I bought them and they saved me. <laughs> so it's another tool. Not necessarily not necessary, but if you have them, it will save your ass sometimes. Uh flare nut wrenches. I regret buying these because they do sell a set that are uh Flare nut on one side and open on the other, which would have been awesome, but live and learn. Torx wrenches, again, working on German stuff, need those. Uh, stubby ratchets, long ratcheting wrenches. Ratcheting with zero offset box. These are on some kind of like, buy these, get the big ones free. Uh, some mid-lengths, full-lengths, all metric, that's all I use. Um, this is some random fuel pump tool for BMWs. Fan clutch tool. Don't have that many wrenches, but uh, I'll be adding to that collection. Screwdrivers. Uh, what do we got? Scrapers. These pry tools are awesome. Really short torques. Uh, your more pry tools, got the picks, more micro screwdrivers, pry bars. 
These are awesome. This set, I barely use, honestly. I'll use the stubby. Maybe this guy. Yeah. Do you have the big pry bar in here? I call it Jesus. Um, I got the carbide scrapers. These are awesome. Make easy work. Torque screwdrivers. Definitely use all those. Got the larger picks. These are awesome for like undoing connectors and whatnot. And the cabinet screwdrivers. These are... I love those. If you're wondering why everything's so clean, it's because I refuse to leave work without cleaning. <laughs> uh, speed drawer. Personal stuff. AirPods. Pens, you know, your usual. Bunch of junk in here. Spare parts, nuts, bolts. Touch-up paint. Worker clamps. Lots of random junk. Batteries. This is another drawer not fully utilized yet. PWZs, these snap-on channel locks, I do not recommend. They're just too chonky. They don't fit anywhere. Got the extended needle nose, angled and straight, vice grips. This is like a hole punch tool. Exhaust hanger. Uh, pliers, I suppose you call them. They're handy. I love these pliers. I don't know who this is. I've had them forever. But they have like a plastic grip. So if you ever want to not scratch something... Those are awesome. Flush cuts for zip ties. My arms are not scratched. But these new guys are nice. Best wire strippers ever. Well, crimpers. Just got all the snap ring pliers. Never had a decent set. I love these blow guns. I think they're made in Denmark or something. Yeah, they're super nice. Your standard issue pliers. Used for crimping Odeker clamps. More snap ring. Uh, the Kinepex are definitely a little better than these, but I like the set. Uh, more hose clamp pliers. Bunch of hammers. This isn't the way this foam set would normally be set up, but I made it work for what I have because I don't need every different size. Uh, the punches. These are awesome. Man, they, they, they take a killing. Uh, extractors, carbide bits, files little hacksaw yeah that's my junk drawer soap <laughs> parts label maker everyone's got one of those drawers hose picks got the air hammer set unfortunately i kind of already had the common ones so i got dupes but once these get killed i'll move over to that um, wire insertion tool. That will save your butt. Pry tools. If you don't have one of these, get one. It's amazing. Uh, this is a secondary ignition clamp for testing waveforms and whatnot on BMW plugs. Coils, sorry. Uh, tape measure, butane soldering iron. This is a oil filter adapter for a uh, little meter i have to check uh vacuum and crankcase I'll tell you whether a valve cover is bad or not soldering uh clamp just use that today it's lovely and of course the compressor had to turn on then this drawer here heavy tools uh leak down tester this is like a wheel bearing tool hub kit uh, annoyed lights this is another timing kit for some older 6-cylinder bmws iso flaring kit it's kind of what you need for bmws again they kind of have weird brake flares that's a coil over wrench kit uh, cooling system refill kit on um, vacuum uh, what's this guy that's the tester test for leaks and that is my vacuum test kit. So the locker, which shipped with the wrong light, by the way. I have it jimmy rigged, so it's it's backwards. When it's at the magnet, it's on. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. So I got the computer in here. Uh, I do have the new one with the gas strut. Quite nice, I can just, don't have to hold it. Uh, if you do have this, 
the light we'll have to mount way up here i made a bracket that bolts on sorry guys <laughs> i made this bracket to mount it to so it's better uh cases honestly this is full of junk right now uh i've got a axle pulling kit i've got the cordless fan to cool down engine bays towels this is just full of parts right now honestly mostly mostly parts but got the locker to grow into fender covers in here uh that is a great caliper spreading tool i love it plastic rivet gun cheap junk off amazon works good uh, some gloves little clamps these are great when you're doing brake lines uh, some wire wheels this is kind of my brake and wheel drawer when i need to clean up hubs brake bleeding wrenches i don't recommend these they just don't seem to fit anywhere <laughs> oh let's grab a normal wrench the rest honestly this is just all just junk it will be filled yes yeah, like one of those cheapo ball joint press things some random stuff on here it's got my go-to cans cleaners i did take uh if you have any of these i took these and cut them and i laid them down in here so the cans actually stick it's worked really well that is it I did get my stool rewrapped in purple. <laughs> uh, yeah, no regrets. If you're looking at one, I definitely recommend it. It's it's solid. Love the lighting. The, 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 the difference the light makes. Love it. If there's anything in the box you want to know more about, leave a comment. I'll make a video. Anything you want to see reviewed and go deeper into, let me know. Otherwise, thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next one.